Hello everyone, welcome back to Slurry Words, Plays FTL. Last episode we talked more about my PC specs I'm making, right now working on, and we're also doing alright on a Solon Type C cruiser on, so I'm just gonna keep that going. Uh, I think we decided we're gonna go Rebel Control. I don't like Rebel Controlled sectors, but I really wanted to have this friendly sector at the end, so I'll, I'll deal with it. Plus, we are looking for a shop, and I, don't, I think there's even less shops in the rock sectors. Once the Federation forces were scattered, rebels came down hard on the locals here. Between tax collectors and military bases, the rebels' presence in the sector is high. There is a store. That's why we didn't upgrade our shields yet. Uh, Europe at a small space station is putting out wideband broadcasts on a black market channel. So he thought they would turn away any business regardless of religions. Uh... Oh, shop, okay. Try upgrading our shields, but might as well just wait at least till we get to scrap to do so. Maybe we'll run to another shop. Hmm. You see a small station paid with 100 repair drones. You receive an automated message. We don't know who you are and we don't care, but it's the right place for some ship repair. Let's get some, let's get five full repair points. I'm cool with that. Thank you for your business. No refunds, exclamation point. But it's uh, not a store. That's why I wanted to wait not to prepare my shields yet. You see a generic advertisement on a nearby public shipyard. It seems to be willing to work on any ship, not only those of the Rebel Hue. Okay, let's go with Stress Beacon. We can probably make our way up, like, up here and back down. That sounds good to me. We need fuel. I should have bought fuel at this shop. Ha! I knew someone fought for a dastardly trap. It appears that the stress beak was nothing but a decoy ambush. Ah, goody. Anyways, let's do this. Oh, this guy's got high blast mark too. I do not like that. Let's wait and see if we take down the shields more. We have some time here, right? We need, like, hit, please. I'm gonna get one more hidden. I gotta do something now. <sighs> no, game, you wouldn't do this to me. Okay, still a little scared. We're not taking a lot of damage right now, so we're okay. It's, that sucks. Can you get back in there, fix that? Can you help repair that actually as well? Uh, so last episode we were talking about my PC specs, I'm just probably Try to get back onto that if I can. Just trying to stay alive first. <laughs> Not fucking again. Okay, I think we're finally back in control here. Kind of. Uh, I think all we gotta talk about left is the graphics cards and some extra accessory stuff. Uh, I want to get this done now, if this is not the tab I want. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, or the battery, so we'll get to that in a second. That's going to be, we'll get to that in a second. It's an interesting battery, in case you don't know. Uh, we got, we didn't get this horror try, but it's, I just can't even find it on the, on the website, and it's just, just as good as anything. Uh, it might be a little bit faster than your average solid state drive, uh, but you know this is a pretty good one. Uh, yeah. And in memory wise, I'm also planning to get a uh, hard, a used hard, uh, four terabyte hard drive because to store videos and stuff on. Nothing to really actually store stuff on, just uh, like at least games and stuff, and to load them fast. Just uh, just something cheap and uh, good enough to store. Yeah. Uh, memory on. 
So I'm gonna cheap out a little bit there, and I'm okay with that because I don't need good memory for at least this. I already got the Solid State Tribe as well. I'm getting the RTX uh, 360 Ti. I have it on pre-order right now. The air power up the FTL. They're trying to power. They're trying to escape. That's not gonna happen. Hopefully, it's gonna happen. Damn it! You fucking kidding me? The pirate jumped away. Uh, very annoying. As a month's lady waiting, we finally retreated. Right? Uh, let's go here. I mean, we, we need that scrap, dude. Your ship is hailed. It's automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears this rebel ship is ran by an AI to power up the FTL drive to get away. No doubt they want to leave your position. Yes. All stuff we already know. Annoying. Come on, game. Fuck it. I feel like we need to do something, do some damage here. Come on, drone, do me a favor. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Wasn't even scared, dude. Honestly, was not even scared at all. Uh, Ohm, get in there and try not to die. Beam drone, he you're a true, you're a good one. Ship breaks apart. If you leave the knowledge, you're still hoping one step ahead of the fleet. Let's get those shields worked on. We can at least use our FTL to, or our battery charger to uh, power if we need to. Going back to position. Let's go here. We are running low on fuel. Find so extremely close to the star. I receive a message on a, from a pirate ship. I'm glad you arrived. Our ship is damaged. We are getting desperate. Hope you don't mind if we take yours. How's else tech on board a ship? <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, I, I'm and if you're wondering how I'm gonna get one of these very elusive cards. These 360 Ti's, or even any other RTX 30 series right now. I, I have a pre-order from BLT Shop. The BLT Shop. It's like BT Shop or something like that. They were basically taking pre-orders for the, the Eagle. Let's go here. We have to jump now. As much as I don't want to. Uh, Rope ship hails. Your renovations come. We waited a long time for this. Everyone back to positions. Turn off oxygen for a second. Oh, that's right, we got fucking A. Uh, turn off one of these. Fucking A. Focus on the shields. Back to your positions. I'm gonna try to hold it off for a second. Do it now. Oh, we missed, but they hit. Fucking terrible. Um, absolutely terrible.
Turn off the flak. We're not going to be doing anything with that right now. Focus on his shields. Feels like ships got all suddenly a lot harder. Come on, Iron Blast. Do me a favor. Nice dodge, we needed that. Can you like, for the love of God, hit their fucking missiles or weapon systems? God damn it, dude. We really need to stop this missile launcher. Ah, ah, it's still online. Okay, we're gonna survive. Please take everything you have, just don't kill us. Fuck off. Ship explodes you behind. At least some fuel. At least it's cheap to upgrade our ship right now. We're in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Just a, a smudge and bit of trouble. A smidgen, even. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, I got a pre order for the 360 Ti, and I should have just enough money after spending all this other money to actually yeah, get it. You're gonna go here for now, okay? Let's go here. Try not to die. I really hate missile launchers. <sighs> You're having middle time storm. Despite harsh conditions, they're almost guessing to be waiting for you. Um, turn on oxygen. Turn off shield. Focus on their shields. Not gonna be doing, doing any damage for a while. So I'm just gonna chill and try to take down their shields first so that way they can't power up your shields super hard. And we'll focus on their flak in a second. Or in my flak, I mean Vulcan. They kind of sound similar. Go ahead. Don't like that as much. Uh, Ohm, get in there. Okay. Come on, flak. Don't let, don't let him get super strong here all of a sudden. They're part of to have tail trying to escape. That's not gonna happen. Let's go. We're fine now. Close the doors. Jesus! Get back! Come on, guys. Some cool guys. Guys. Guys, I'm trying to win. <laughs> How am I supposed to win if, 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 you, if you keep uh, dodging my shots? Guys, this isn't cool. No. Why is every shot going so fast? Are we gonna hit? Do I think. I don't know. I mean, there's no way you can tell, but I'm. Ah, <laughs> I need the kills. Oh, God. It's all falling down all of a sudden. The run we, the beautiful run we made. Can we die from this? We jump into the middle of the storm, multiple leashes, incapacitated ships, and the shadow, people in the other lightning. I feel unlucky. I feel unlucky! <laughs> Most of the debris is hardly even usable. However, you eventually find an intact weapon that can be mounted to your ship. Okay. Um. 
cool. We need a shop. Let's go here. We, oh god, we need a battle too. We need some fuel. Hmm. Some missile launchers on here. That's not good. A small shell up here is on the local radar. Turns out to be a rebel automated scout. Exclamation point. Oh goody, they're going to they get to charge up the missile too. Well, we have we have some technology to save us. I I don't know. I think like we just probably can't do anything. We don't have enough power right now. I don't know what we can, we can do that. We can do like that and this. Please, for the love of God, hit their weapon system. Dodge! Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna die anyways. There's there was, even with the missile that that also hit us. So like, uh, okay. Well, I have to work another twelve tomorrow, so I'll probably just record more episodes then. We got a lot. We got a decent backlog started again. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, come like, subscribe. I will see you next time. Peace out. Oh, wait, real quick. Oh, I did forget one thing. Let's go over these specs real quick. Well, so I was going to say, because I never really got into it. Things kind of got really heavy fast. So, yeah, memory. Uh, I'm getting disc wrapped the 360 Ti because I got pre order. So, I'm feeling lucky about that. Should be, uh, they get their shipment on just, uh, January 5th, which is coming up here. It's like a couple, two days away. I'm excited. And it gets shipped, and I get it. I'm also, I, uh, so. My last plan with this PC, to make it truly ridiculous, is to add a second motherboard and uh, uh, mine Bitcoin with it. <laughs> Let's just say I have a Bitcoin miner inside my, my rig, and that's part of my rig. So that comes to the first part, the PSU, or PC. It's PSU, definitely it's PSU. I got the Flaintex Revolts, which uh, this thing is made for another case, uh, but I can work on with any case, to be fair. And it's... Uh, it's able to power two motherboards, which is really cool. So yeah, I got this to, uh, this is, what does it say about wattage wise? I'm not sure if it really knows. On 405 watts. Okay, cool, so we'll see, at least get some of this. But not all, they really count for a lot to just so still, we're fine. We're still fine on like wattage. I'm fine to like have like a lot of extra wattage with this. Because even though I don't need a thousand watts, I might need it later. Uh, so yeah, I got this, and that's the first part of the plan. The second part of the plan is that from that same PC case that originally that, that battery was made for, they, it comes with the reason why they have that is because they have an attachment called the. Uh, uh, well, it's not called anything. It's it's uh, compatible with the Fall of X and Eclipse AP60. It's what it says. But really, it only mounts. So th this piece, this bracket, it allows you to add an ITX motherboard, and it uh, it attaches through one of the uh, radiator slash like fan slots. Like it uh, attaches uh, through the top of that. So if worse comes even worse too, like I'll just have to get like a separate uh, a separate. I might have to rebuy a rack from that case and install it to my case, which I think should be doable because I'm just uh. You know, it's, it's still the same width, I think. Maybe not. I might, if this case I've got right now might be... Oh, that's something else I need to talk about. The case. So before we go into the Bitcoin miner, I got uh, I got this case. It fits the HPTX form factor that this huge motherboard has. This fucking motherboard's huge. It's like the size of a pizza box. It's it's crazy. Uh, I had to get a new case because the original case that came... That I was actually for this... I got... Uh, was the one that this battery and that brackets for. That's how I know about this. Uh, but yeah, so you know, like I like having the power supply too, being able to like split off and power two systems because then at least uh, the two different systems have some common connection. You know, it, it, it makes it all like one working piece technically, even though it's like two separate parts working separately. The power still is you know connecting them all together. Which I, I don't know. It's it's just nice. It's, it it just adds to the you know the kookiness. Of the of the build, cookie. Uh, so yeah, but I'm. I think 
I think they should be able to attach on there just because it attaches through like the radiator fan uh, brackets that are already like usually pre-installed onto cases. I might need to get the case specific. Like I don't think I will because you know these uh, these usually cases like in this these kind of uh, like fans and radiators they're all like they're all supposed to be able to fit in every case, right? So the 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 railing system that these bracket and uh, uses for the one case should be about the same for this case that we got right here. So I'm feeling pretty confident that it should be able to fit the ITX motherboard. The only problem is that it's kind of expensive and hard to find a motherboard, an ITX motherboard, that uh, can fit a lot of PCIe-E lanes because I want to... Uh, like right now, I think I'm going to start off with getting like a used ITX off eBay because I don't need anything fancy. Uh, get like a Suron processor. But I would like to, uh, but that doesn't mean I have a lot of PCI slots, which is fine. That's fine for now. But I, as time goes on, my plan is to, uh, after I'm done with like a graphics card, you know, I'll give it a second life in the mines. And it's still my favorite joke. Uh, but yeah, I uh, will be recycling my graphics cards after I'm done using them or upgrade uh, and put them into the Bitcoin miner. And this PC case can fit technically like 12. I, it's, it's either 10 or 12. I think it's 12. Uh, 12 graphics cards in it. So I'm like feeling pretty confident that uh, like over time I can build a serious collection, like have an actual Bitcoin miner inside of my case. The only problem is that I'll have to find an ITX motherboard that can fit like, <laughs> hold on, I doubt there's like an uh, um, ITX motherboard that can fit like 12 or 10 uh, PCI lanes. If you know one, let me know. PCIe lanes, I mean. And like say if you know, let me know. I, I would gladly, I would gladly look into that and keep, I keep my eye on it. Try to find a cheap one off eBay because I'll probably still get used. But you know, uh, so yeah, I'm planning to get like a used ITX or maybe even like one from a family member if they have like an old computer lying around, if and they use an ITX motherboard. So that's uh, that's how I'm gonna buy Bitcoin basically. And so I have a second graphics card, as you can see here, the RTX T, uh, 1050 Ti. I got that previously just because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get RTX th uh, 30 series for a while. So I thought I might as well have something. And uh, it's already bought, but now I also have this, uh, I already have the other pre-order on the way. Like, this is already delivered even. So I'm just, uh, I'm planning to put that into Bitcoin Miner, and that would be cool. Uh, I think that's everything, yeah. I mean, that's the crazy for my PC right now. It's costing a lot of money, but it's, it's cool. Um, you know, I'm about to bust. <laughs> if you guys seen that video, that's a, that my friend was showing me, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, Lord, I'm about to bust. <laughs> oh, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace out.